Hello, hello. I am getting ready to put my journals together and decide how many, I'm sorry, signatures together and decide how many signatures are going to go in this Jack journal. And because I want to include so many things in this journal, uh, I am actually, this is one of those three pack bullet journals from Hobby Lobby. And I am right now just ripping the seam out of the middle so that I can have individual pages because I want to use a couple of these bullet journal paper papers. And I don't have any in my current stash. These were actually marked down in in the um, in the clearance section, and so I picked them up. They were three for I think two seventy something. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna poke holes in this paper. This seam ripper is like nineteen. I don't even know. I got it probably in the seventies, uh, second hand. I'm sure. And this thing is super sharp, but it will rip rip the paper pretty easily. Oh, and I did. Right at the top, I ripped a little hole. Darn it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Anyway, so, yeah, I think I got all the thread out. So this is kind of an overdue thing. Well, hi, Denise. This is kind of an overdue thing. And this got put on the back burner because I was adulting a little more than I wanted to. So, well, hi, Lizzie. You guys know that, right? Adulting can really get in the way of the crafting. This is kind of cool because it's like slick, heavy. Um, it's almost plasticky. I might cut that down and save it. I don't like all this writing in that but I want to use some of these pages there's a lot of pages in here I just set one aside because I put holes in it but there's like three I'm gonna count them four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen so it looks like there was twenty pages in here so when they're folded in half it's it's forty technically, and then front and back would be 80. So there's 80 places to bullet journal in here. So that's cool. But I only want a few of these pages to add to my signatures. So I'm going to set aside probably about six of them just to be safe in case I ruin any more. That way I've got three or four for sure handy. Okay. So again, that's a pretty good deal. If you want to use those in your journals, I got, again, this is a, was a three pack on the clearance aisle. And I think it was 277. Okay. And then I have set aside, I cut this into three parts. This was part of the scraps of a leftover piece of 12 by 12. I love this paper. And then I just cut these down to four inches each just to make little half pages. And I've got, let's see, this is solid. This is not. I folded all these in, but I may want them out. I don't know. I don't. I definitely want that one in because I glued a, a dolly to it. So these are thicker craft paper cardstock, and I did not run any of these through the printer. And I also want to include Sally, that I thought I trimmed down in uh, this movie poster I bought online, but. I need to trim it a little, just a little bit more on the ends. And I may cut that brown off on the sides um, to make her a little bit shorter. So I'm going to have a signature just for Sally. Let me see. Let me, this box pops up every time. Hey, mama. Where did you get Dana? Uh, where did I get the movie posters or the? <clears throat> I got this and this online on Alley. They have a but any movie poster you want, any movie, old movies, new movies, anything. 
I hate to fold her in half. I was going to, originally I was going to use this for the cover. Um, unfortunately, because he's offset, I kind of feel like I can't use him for a signature because if I fold it, it'll be about here. So, and it looks like all they did was copy a, a photo of something that was already folded. So there's kind of a makeshift crease here at an angle, which that's aggravating. Not the highest quality photograph, but anyway. So I'm going to set those aside because I haven't scored those yet. I've got some scraps. And then um, my offcuts are in here, but I also put a bunch of paper through the printer. That's going to go in the Sally, probably the Sally signature too. But um, this was a mess up. My printer messed up. The, some of these are off. So this is going to be used as not that good. I don't know what happened there, but so let me see what I got. I got some. Oh, good. It's on the end too. Well, I don't know what happened. My printer must have got misaligned. Can you see the end? It started. That must be when that one got off. Oh, I know what it did. It sucked in two or three pages at once is what it did. Oh, okay. So there you have it. That's nice, isn't it? So what I do when it does that, and it does that when you put thicker paper in it, I'll cut that off and I'll just use this to back my tags or something. So. Oh, you are? I am making a, um, a Jack Skellington journal for a friend of mine's daughter for Christmas. And this is a friend of mine that we go like way back. And when I say way back, we've been friends since we were like seven years old. That was my test print. I hate that this paper has this in the corner. So now on any page I use this on, I have to either cut it short. Oh, and there's a little stain on there. That's good. That, I bet that's coffee. I have to either cut the page shorter and use it as a partial or make tags out of it or what, whatever. So, gee, I must have printed a, I printed a few of these. I must have, hmm, I got a little zealous on that. This was some of those leftover clearance papers that you buy in the pack. And they're sold, a lot of them are sold individually by the sheet. They're already eight and a half by 11. So I like it because it's easy storage for me in a regular file cabinet, as opposed to storing the 12 by 12s. I love this. Check out this. It's got the record players and the old stereo on it and a TV. Very cool. I like the retro. I don't know that I'm going to use the wood, but well, you never know. And then this, I don't know that this goes, but it's got the black background. And I love that it's like, it's like a canvasy, um, looks like a canvasy texture, but I just love the colors in that. And I thought, you know what, if I can stick that in somewhere to add some color, because everything's so black, white, gray, brown, there's a little bit of lack of color. So I am going to add some color to it. Haley is very girly, girly. But she was also that kid that wore black and painted her nails black and wore black lipstick and too much eyeliner and had swing pants. Is that what you call them? Or trip pants. And she she's something else, but she is adorable. Adorable. So I'm really excited about making this. Well, hi, Lisa. Hi, Carrie Martin. I'm just folding paper, not even paying attention. What are you ladies doing? I kind of feel like I could cut that down and use that as maybe a half page. I'm going to go ahead and fold it and put it in, even though it's got that little mess up there. And this I'm not going to use. This is going to go to scraps. This is scraps. This is scraps. So I think that's it as far as... That's that paper I made with that tablecloth. If you guys remember me making those tablecloth flowers, and it's kind of got. And then this is rather stiff, but it doesn't shed. 
this some. Um, this is this chunky glitter. So I thought I might make this the outside of Sally's signature. I'm not sure. I should have probably scored this. Oh yeah, this is going to shed a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm going to set this aside because ugh, it's everywhere already. Okay. So that's let me put these scraps back. I don't need scraps right now. So this is scraps and this is scraps and okay. So this is going to be the center of Sally's signature and I want to include the doily definitely in her signature because it's girly girly and I don't know about the flowers. I guess I should get, I have some stuff set aside that I thought about using in her her signature and I kind of, this is the fabric. I know I showed this before, but I kind of want to figure out how to incorporate this, this, I'm going to cut this out. And then um, Denise had sent me some cards and both of these are in the story. Both of these expressions have a little story that go with them. And this one says, Love and snow in the air as Jack suddenly realizes that the unassumingly sweet Sally has stolen his bony heart. So that's that face. And this face says, emerging triumphant from Oogie Boogie's subterranean lair, the depth of Sally's love and devotion begins to dawn upon a hitherto oblivious Jack Skellington. So just when he realizes the depth of her love, how romantic. So I'm hoping to include these two in that signature. Um, I have a few, I thought this pink would match. Let's see, where is it? I thought this pink would match, um, but it's not. It's like too, per too pinky purple, but then I could put it in a later page. But then I found this, this Mrs. Sparkle and Company, um, the glitter paper. I think that matches perfect. And my on my camera, it doesn't look like it. But, and then... Um, it's got the metallic, so um, purple. So I think that I could do some die cuts or something with that. And then this is from Lisey. I don't know if you even recognize this. This was in that paper, that faith-based paper pad you gave me, the little one. And so I grabbed that out of there. So I have a few things that I can kind of specific, that are specific to this signature. And then, of course... I have a ton of whatever I can always go find, but I thought this was cool. I found this in a little assorted pack of papers from, I think, either Seven Gypsies or Art C. I don't remember where I got that, but this is really cool. And it's like, uh, I don't know, it feels like, you know, skin almost, but it's paper. Okay, so... You guys got to kind of help me decide what you think. How many pages do you like in your signatures where they comfortably close and all the papers are not too staggered on the edges? Where's my scoreboard? I moved everything around, so I can't find anything now. What do you guys think your maximum papers or minimum? Do you have a, do you have a magic number? I typically like between four and six is my personal kind of sweet spot, but I don't really have a formula that, that works for me. Kim said seven, Denise said five or six. I put six per signature, but just so I can stop it. Um, Carrie, you've never made a journal. That surprises me. I'm sure you will do fantastic if you ever do. You're a very talented lady. So, Lisa, how many signatures? If you put six pages of signature, how many signatures do you typically put in one of your journals? Does it just depend on how big it is? I might save that. I'm going to set that over here. No. Okay, so this is 
10 and 3 quarters. So we're going to do 5 and um, yeah, I think. No, I don't want to turn the paper. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. This bag. Okay. Um, 24 total. So you do three, you do six pages of six signatures. Oh, wait, Kim said three. Kim, you do three signatures of, what'd you say, seven pages? So you use 21 pages altogether. Hmm. Well, okay, so you guys tell me what you think. I think I'm, I might put some gesso on this so that it, whatever she wants to do on the back of this. Actually, I could probably put lines on this and she could write on it, but it might, since this is kind of a shiny finish, it might make funky marks on it. So I don't know. Okay, so I want something girly for Sally. So probably something pretty like this. Like this. This is girly and this is girly. This is kind of girly. This goes good with the gray, I think. I'm going to put this. I'm going to turn this around the other way. Let's do that. So that I've got some lined paper by the gray craft and then the doily I can do like pockets or something here and then let's see how many pages do I have one two three that's four pages I think I could comfortably put in another I don't know that I'm going to do a whole lot of tea stain paper but I did make I'm in the wrong file drawer. Hang on. I did make. Uh, I made coffee stained paper with this pink paper. So, let me find it. Here it is. Okay, so let me, let me get this down. It's not in my file cabinet, so it has to be in my book. But I do have coffee stained, um, wrong book. Uh, I have coffee stained um, pink paper I made. Let me see if I can find it. All my books are tipping over now. Oh, because I took the biggest one out and that was holding all of the rest up. I gotta put this on a lower shelf. I can't handle it. All right, Lisa, don't look. Sue, don't look. <laughs> don't nobody look. All right, let me see. I got. Oh my gosh, what do I have? Here I have. Oh, I have coffee date, coffee dyed pink paper, so I can do. One of these, these are cool, and then I'll do one of these. Oh, that's kind of thick. Let me do one of the thinner one. This is tea stained. This is cylinder. This is tea stained. These are pictures Maria gave me. Um, let me see. Where's my? Well, I guess I'm out of coffee stained paper. I got this, but this is really kind of, this is really thick. This is the double dipped paper. You know, it's where you coffee dye it and then do it again. So it's really cool looking. 
So let me grab one of those. Okay. Ugh, don't look. Don't look. Dang it. Dang it. Okay. All right. So now I have. This is really, really thick cardstock. That might be too thick for this signature because this is already getting kind of fat. Okay, so if this is the middle, then we could do some, I kind of like to have some interest. So since this is plain, I'll put something over here and this is patterned. Um, I can leave it for like pictures and then I'll put some like stamp or trim on this and leave this with maybe a pocket. But this... And this, this is like plain on plain. So I kind of feel like I should put maybe, maybe some more pattern in. So I'm going to put this girly paper here. And what I'll do is I'll just put a pocket on the corner of this to cover up that printing. I hate that printing is there. But that way, that's girly girl. Okay, so that'll be Sally's signature. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's Sally's signature right there. And I wanted to use that for her because it's like really, really pretty. So I'm mixing styles here. I don't know if this is like, I'm sure this is a huge faux pas. I'm doing holographic with aged vintage. So I don't know. I have no style. You, you can tell when you look at my house decorations. I have one old thing and next to one uber modern thing and I don't care because that's I just don't care. Alright so I kind of like this writing one. I have to decide on a cover for my next signature. So I really like this for a cover. really like this pattern and it reminds me a lot of Haley because she used to wear those vans. Remember those black and white vans? My kids had them too. All the kids had them. And <clears throat> I don't know. I like this too. This has the script. I don't know. Can you see that? This has the script and then this has the music. So, but I, I really like this. I know Haley will love this paper and I kind of feel like that with that might be too much in the same signature, but then I kind of want to. Like, I kind of want to do it. I want to do it. Is that too much in the same one? And then divide it with other things. Like, put this coffee stain, this double dipped paper in here, and maybe some of this cool retro. Should I mix the, the old and the new again? really need more than one or two lined pages. Oh, this was going to go in Sally's, wasn't it? But it doesn't have to. It's cool. Okay, so you guys ever put patterned paper back to back with other patterned paper? Because I think that would look really good side by side. I'm kind of changing my mind here. Oh, this is the one that got fed misfed through the printer actually i can put something there i could make it like a you know what i could make it a tuck or something let me see yeah i can make it like a half page yeah let's do that we're gonna make a tuck spot because well for obvious reasons but then there's lines there that weird should i just cut that off i might just cut that short i think i'm just going to cut it off heck with it they don't have to be the same size do they i keep hitting these jingle bells i got these jingle bells here because i'm going to rust them and they're driving me crazy every time i turn to my shelf i hit the jingle bells everybody sing jingle bell jingle bell jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Okay, so let's get that off there. So, we'll stick it in. 
I don't care. Okay. Don't mind the jingle. <clears throat> oh, wait a minute. That's wrong. I like that. I kind of like the. Do you like the pattern back to back or is it too much? Well, that won't. You know what? You won't see that. Oh, yeah, you will because that's. Yeah, and you'll see that. Is that too much? Like inside the journal? Because I could add an envelope here. I would like to probably sew in. Hi, Grandma Joe. You stuck right in. Look at me. I'm just like run a border strip. Oh, no, I read that too late. Look, I just whacked it off. Gosh, Dana, pay attention. Why don't they have audio? You know what? We need audio chat. You know, we should do that. You guys want to do that? You know what we should do? We should have like, um, we should take turns. We should take turns on speakerphone and you guys can call me and like hang out and like, say all the stuff that you don't want to type because it takes too long to type and then um and then hang up and the next person call me and then be like hey all right there's three lined pages so that's probably too much for that would that be fun you guys you guys, you guys. i like the gray so i kind of want to incorporate the gray too because, oh, but then there's a divider between the pattern pages, but it does break it up a lot, doesn't it? I guess I do kind of like that better. But then here's plain on plain again. So I kind of feel like I got to do something here. I'd like a little, maybe a little half sheet of the black paper um, or like a partial page. Oh, here, this is cool. I got this, and this is that fuzzy paper. Really cool. I love this stuff. So I might put that in. That'll add some interest. And I can put it at the top or the bottom. Um, where's, I have a really cool strip of black. Oh, you know what? It's in this baggie. Maybe. Yeah, I'm looking for this, this Harlequin. It's not, it's different from these checks because these are perfect squares and these are diamond shapes. So I'm looking for the Harlequin paper I have in black with gray. So I'll add a strip of that, but, and this is square. This is also square, not the diamond. So huh, I don't know what I did with it. That's the problem when I'm trying to get this stuff together. It's like, oh, what do you do? Oh, that's cool too with the keys on it. I love that. Here's some off cuts of that record player. Oh, this is kind of cool. That looks kind of cool with the um, with the coffee stain. Oh, I was going to put this in Sally's signature too. Well, here's a plain piece of black. We could just use the. Oh, this is cool too. Oh, let's use this. I love this. Oh, but then it's also plain on the back. All right. Well, let's do it anyway. Let's just use it because I love it. Yeah, because I like partial. I want some half pages here and there. And some flips and some tucks and some all kinds of messy stuff. Grandma Sh Joe said, let's do it. Okay. Call me Grandma Joe. Do you have my number? I'm going to email it to you real quick. If you don't. I think she does. Somebody have, somebody text Grandma Joe my number? Are we all, who are you in touch with? Watch me put it on my live and then. All these people start calling me like saying crazy stuff. I'm like, I want to be on your live. Grandma Joe, I'm gonna we gotta get you my phone number so you can call. So should we put this at the top or the bottom? 
I kind of like that showing that that coffee dyed paper, but I kind of like it at the bottom. So why don't we flip this? Yeah. Look, ooh, look how blotchy that is. Ooh, blotchy, blotchy. Okay. So that kind of breaks it up a little bit, doesn't it? I probably should cut this down a hair a wee bit. Let me get my decorative scissors out. This is this is postage stamp. I'm not sure I want the postage stamp. We can always rip it. Um, you guys ever use those rippers? Those paper rippers? Because I've got one here to make the bag. And it works like on the thin craft paper, but I don't know how it works on this. So, I kind of, yeah, I kind of don't want to risk that right now on this. So, let me put the paper ripper back. I'm just going to cut it. I don't have my glasses on either. Darn it, Dana. What are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, let's try this. Let's give it a whirl. Just make a pretty edge along here. These are a pain to line up, but I love the way they look, and I don't have to run over and set up my die cutter. I can just... Isn't that pretty? Can you see it? You can't really see it on here, can you? Isn't that pretty? Pretty pattern on the edge. So, something kind of something kind of cutesy. I wish they were longer. I bought one of those bucket bucket o scissors one time. Okay. Oh, that's upside down. And now that's sticking out a little bit far, so those are going to get all mangled when the book is closed. So I'm going to make it just a hair shorter. Makes my, makes my, oh, cool. Look at this. Look at the back. You can probably see it better on the back side. Look at that. It made like a rick a rack <laughs> I never thought about doing that. That's kind of cool. Hey, a new thing. All right, Grandma Joe. Whose number do you who who's some? Um, who are you in contact with? Look, this says Sue because my mom gave them to me. <clears throat> my mom's crafty too. She doesn't craft anymore now that her health is not not what it once was. Okay, so in this signature, this is the front. We've got one. I don't know if we count that. I guess that's a half. Two. Do you guys count half pages as a page? Three, four, five, six. So I kind of don't like this being the center. I want to kind of have something as a centerpiece. Something pretty. So maybe we could do another half page at the top of something. Something cool. Or, you know what I could do? I could do... I could do like a fabric page in the middle. You think? Or would it get wrinkly? Too wrinkly? Whose phone number do you have here that can text you my number? So you can you can call. You can call and, um, and we can talk. You going to be first? Lisa's done it before. She's calling me and she's like, one day I wasn't paying attention to chat. Was that the day I lost my, I lost my paint or something? And Maria kept saying, it's in the book. Because <laughs> I, I put it, I had painted in my, rolled off, like rolled off some paint in my journal and stuck it in my journal so the paint wouldn't dry the pages together and put it back behind me. And then um, when I couldn't find it later, Maria was going, it's in the book. And she was trying to tell me it was in the book, but I wasn't paying attention to the chat. So, 
I think Lisa called me. She's like, look in the book. I think that was the day. All right, let's turn this the opposite way. Because I don't particularly like the pink with the purple and yellow. But this is going to look good with the Sally fabric, I think. Don't you guys think this will look good? The flowery roses with this, eh, maybe. And then I might put her on here. I think I'm just going to, let's just do that. Let's stick her on there because if I get these out of order, then if I remember, I'm going to put her on here. Yeah. I'm going to get out my trusty fabric tag. Okay, you guys, this is something new for me too. I don't know. You don't have no ones. Well, you have my email. I know you have my email, don't you? Shoot me an email real quick and I'll put it in my email. I'll hit that way. I can just hit reply. I can just look in my inbox because my email is super slow half the time. Um, okay. Tell me how to put this, the best way to put this fabric photo on this page. And where do you guys think it should go? I don't normally, I have Fabri-Tac. I have every glue known to man. Here he is waiting He's waiting. Um, well, it's three in one, but, or no, that's Fabri-Tac. So, um, do you guys use pinking shears to cut this out, or do you just cut it out straight? I know Lisa likes to tear fabric, but you know what? I don't know what the, I don't know how to know where the, um, what do they call it? The grain of the fabric. I don't know. I'm not a sewer. You guys have seen my sewing. It looks like literally. So what, what do you think? Let's, let's just give it a whirl. I hope I don't mess this up, but let me move my scissors. I'm going to make a little snip and try and tear this to see how easy this tears. So let me make a little cut. Okay, it actually tears rather easy, and I kind of like that little rolled edge it gives it. So let me tear this over here. Okay, then I can just cut the top straight off. All right, how's that look? And then, should I cut these guys off at the bottom? Can you tear fabric two ways or just one way? Pinking shears and fiber tag. Okay. You can't use pinking shears on fabric. It moves. Why are it's moving around? Is that why people lay it down? I guess. Oh my gosh. I should have paid attention when I was a kid. My mom sewed so well. And I just, I have no clue. No, none at all. Okay, so I guess this should go kind of at the bottom of the page. Do you, do you put the Fabri-Tac all the way to the edge of the, um, all the way to the edge of the uh, cloth? Stringy. All right. Uh -oh. Okay. So I put glue at the bottom edge, and right here I left like something open where I can tuck stuff down in there to add more stuff later. Um. But 
I do like that. And then, so Lisa, you sew over the Fabri-Tac, don't you? Oh, is that, and that's the stuff you iron, Grandma Joe, the fusible web, is that the stuff you iron onto the fabric? And it makes it stiffer, right? I'm going to go in my email. Fusible web. Does that come in a roll or a paper? Like, does it come in eight and a half by 11 sheets like this, where you could just make a whole page of fabric? You let it dry completely, like 24 hours, or just like, just a little bit like dried to the touch. Well, that's cool. All right. Okay, so Grandma Joe, send me a. Uh, an email to the night nurse Dana at gmail.com. I'm going to send you my cell phone number so you can call us. Let it dry first. Yes. Heat and bond you use with felt. So is heat and bond the same thing as the fusible webbing? Oh, you did? Mm -mm. I hate my. Come on. All right, you know what? I've got this old one from you. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna open this old one. Cause my my email is so slow. Cause I'm on this tablet. I'm on this little Samsung tablet. This thing kills me. I'm too far from the, um, I'm too far from the, the Wi-Fi, I think, probably. I don't know how it gets to the computer and then get to the tablet, but. All right, so hopefully that's sent. I sat, I took it in the house and set it on the counter where it's closer to the Wi-Fi. You know, I'm all the way at the other end of the house where the Wi-Fi is. Okay, so I'm going to get this out of the way because I'm getting too distracted. I'm not at the decorating phase yet, but let me put this. This is one of them dollar store pom-pom things. Okay, so I still haven't decided what to put. Look, I get so distracted. Squirrel. Okay, so I've got what I say, one, two, three four, five, six, and then you know what? In here, let's put, let's put one of the face cards in the middle. That'll be fun because I wanted those in the middle anyway. So that's a lot of white, but um, this will be fun to decorate with like pockets and stuff and I could probably stick a pretty little bag in there or let me see what I've got. I've got I've got these little bags. This would be fun to stick in. I could sew that in. This little and it's got gussets on it. Or I could actually glue it down in the card so that I could put stuff in it. I don't know. I got this too. Lisa, did you give me this bag? I don't remember who gave me this bag. I just love this bag. Isn't that the prettiest? I think that's so pretty. I'm going to make two bags out of this. Let's make two bags out of it. Where's my scissors? All right, here's one bag, and then let's make a second bag out of this. Let me just bring this up here. Let me cut these corners off a little bit. All 
All right. All right. You didn't get it? Dang it. That didn't work either. Grandma Joe, I'm batting zero for zero here. Look, I glued the wrong part of the bag. <laughs> yeah, my email didn't go through. I don't know what's wrong with my email. My tablet it stinks, like literally. So, and now I don't have my, you know what? I, since I got this new counter, number one, I can find nothing. And number two, I have lost like all my little glue rags. So I'll be right back in two shakes. I got to go get one. In the meantime, you guys think of cool stuff I can stick in So sorry about that. I had to be nosy. I heard noises out front and I had to go peek out the door because I thought I was getting a delivery, which I'm not expecting a delivery. So if we get a delivery, it's Thad's delivery. But I heard something out front and there's a truck stuck on the hill. We live on a big hill and sometimes trucks, big trucks can't get up it. And I kept hearing something when I went in there to get my, oh, and I forgot my blue rag. Good. Okay, so let me see. Well, I guess we'll use. I got a new ink rag out. It's not really dirty yet, so we can use that. Actually, we could use the old. I'll use my old ink rag as my new blue rag. Okay, sorry about that. I got a big stool out here, too. Okay, so. Well, I can sew this little bag in there. That's kind of cool. Is that too much black, white, and gray? All right. Okay, so I think that's good for one signature. So, let's go on to the next one. Because that's a lot. It's a lot going on. So... Let's decide the next one. Let me put this over here. Okay. Let me straighten this back up. I guess. I still don't know if I'm going to use him or not. Grandma Joe, check your email again. Let's see if you got it. What do you guys think about the music? paper as a signature cover. You think it's too small of a print? You think I need something bolder? Because this kind of, this strikes me as being too dainty for the cover. You love it? You like the music? I do too. And I like the fact that, well, I don't want them all to be craft and black, but this one's, here's Grandma Joe, you guys. This is going to be fun. All right, hang on. Let me put you on speakerphone. All right, hello. Hi. Let me turn the volume up. Hang on. All right, I'm going to put you over here. Hi, Grandma Joe. Hello. Is there any echoes? Because Are you getting an echo? A little bit. That's okay. Can you guys hear her okay? I can hear her okay. Can you guys hear Grandma Joe good? 
Here, you know what? I'm just going to take out the charger. I'm fully charged anyway. Here, that way I can turn it down and put you right here by the computer. And then that way you won't have the echo. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. All right. Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear Grandma Joe or do I need to turn her up? Tell me if I need to turn the speaker up. So what are you doing tonight? I made new. You made new what? Oh, hi, Sue. She does it. Oh, Sue's here. See, Grandma Joe's paying better attention to the comments than I am. Yeah, that's your channel. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? And I'm such a slacker. So what do you make? What's the weather where you're at? It is freezing here. I hate it. Oh my gosh, it's so cold here. I can't stand it. I am so ready for spring. You guys, only three months till spring. I know, I'm ready for summer. I need some heat. I need some sunshine. My car. Ugh. All right. I'm going to get another paint. I'm going to get another piece of that gray craft. I really do like that. You guys like that gray? I really like how that looks in here. So let me move this stool. Get in my file cabinet. It's really thick. Actually, this gray craft is really thick. I think Haley will have fun with it because she's kind of artistic and she'll be drawing stuff and maybe using. I don't know how well it'll take markers and stuff, but so. I love this to work out real good because. I love that echo because I try to watch the video and. Oh, yeah, you probably have to turn the video down because that'll be delayed from what you hear through the phone and what, you know, from, yeah, from the real time. That didn't go. Gosh, this paper's so thick I can't even score it. Let's see. Let me make sure I got the middle. You guys know I'm bad at math. This is the only way I can guarantee I got the middle. <laughs> you love winter? Lisa, you're crazy. You're a crazy woman. You love winter. I love snow, like on Christmas and on Christmas cards and if I'm going skiing. And that's, that's it. After New Year's, like, it can be spring. I'm done. But I do like snow during the holidays. But after Christmas... Uh, Lord, Lord, I'm just, I'm ready for a thaw. You know what? I could probably do a gray cover, but I like the music. What I do? I lost my signature. There, I had to turn the video off, actually. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> was it? I don't think this will work. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't know how Lisa does it. Lisa calls me and half the time she's typing at the same time as she's talking. I'm like, I can't even read. I can't even read the comments and talk at the same time. So I don't know how she does it. I wonder if she talks on her phone and uses the computer. Maybe. I'm doing it with my phone also, so. I can't decide. All right. So I've got four pages here. Okay. So I've got line. Oh, Grandma Joe hung up. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma Joe. I thought it would be fun. Since I can't hear anything you guys are saying and you can hear me, I thought, well, it'll be fun. Someone call me. 
But Grandma just said it don't work out like that. So, you know what? I think I'm going to add some color to this one. Um, I'm going to get some more of that coffee. I'm going to get some more of that coffee dyed paper out. Let me get this. Oh, no. it's I picked up the wrong book again, and all my stuff tipped over on the shelf. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me put it back. And this is so heavy. My table is poking my ribs now. All right. Um, I'll set this back here. I've got kind of a mess behind me because my chair is trapped in my desk area now. And I don't know um, how to get it out without lifting it up. And it's like, seriously, that chair is 100 pounds. I'm going to get a couple more out. Oh, that's tea stained. I don't want the tea stained. I want... The coffee. Let me get some coffee. Coffee. Dye. I think I might. You know what? I might throw another of that. A couple more of those bright pinks in. I'm gonna get one of those out. Actually, I'm gonna get two of these out because these are just cool, and I can make tons of those. That's super easy. Okay. So. Should I put pink in it or should I put coffee dyed? I don't know. You know what? I think I think scoring some of this is overrated. I think it's as long as it's not scrapbook paper and I'm not worried about the outside cracking open. I don't think it, it matters if I score it too much unless I'm just, you know, like a, if I'm making a rosette or something. Purple in he's. Oh, a drop call. <laughs> I thought, well, Grandma Joe just hung up. Oh, well, that's okay. I was hoping you weren't frustrated, so I thought, well, I hope she's not. <laughs> I didn't think you were a hanger upper. All right, so we've got some line paper, some pattern, some plain, some pattern, some coffee stained. I kind of want to add some color in here somewhere, but I don't know. I really like the black, white, and gray and craft. You know what? I kind of don't want to add any color to this. I think I'm going to leave this pretty neutral three four five and i'm gonna put one more page in here of maybe let's do that this is so weird though because it has weird words on it and the inside is kind of textured can you see inside so it would be hard to do anything on the back side of this paper Maybe this. Maybe some of this floral paper. That's pretty neutral, except for the green. And I want some flower somewhere. You know I'm a flower girl. That's not really the center that I want, though. I want something super cool in the middle. Maybe this is where we should put Jack. Maybe we should go ahead and crease him. Or I guess I could offset him and just cut one side down. Or make him a fold out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I'm going to make Jack a fold out. Yes, sir, read Bob. That's exactly what we're going to do. So... Let me get my scoreboard back out. Now that I've moved everything around. Oh, I set it on the chair behind me. Good. I didn't even put it back. I tried to put the things that I need, like big things, in close reach, but where I could put them right back away where they're not getting in my way. And now I can't find anything. So, yeah. That's, that's helpful, Dana. Good job. 
Okay, so probably about right here. Yeah. So I'm going to score it. I don't even like, I don't know why I keep grabbing these little bone folders. How's your daughter? Is your daughter feeling better, Grandma Jo? I know last time I talked to you, she was kind of not doing, not doing great. So, okay, so we'll score this just on this side of his elbow so that when you open it up, there he is in there in all his glory. But when it's in the signature itself, it'll be here. So the sewing will go through the side of him, not through the center of him, but yet he'll be a fold out. Look, Jack, you're a center fold. Look how happy he is about that. He's like, oh yeah, I'm getting the big money now. <sighs> Little does Jack know, Dana is broke. Wah, wah, wah. Okay. So this will be my signature. This is fairly devoid of bright colors, but one, two, three, four, five, ta-da, four, five, Jack. Okay. So there's my third signature. So I think he should kind of be in the front. Jack, then Sally, then this like fun one here. And then what else? What else? What else? Um, how many signatures did you guys say you make? It's poll time again. I'm sorry. I should pay attention the first time, but I apologize. I am so easily distracted. Should I turn that around like that? I always get aggravated before I sew stuff together because I can't, I can't always decide. You know what? I'm going to put that high up, high, higher, higher up on the page number here like this. So it opens up like that. Yeah. And then I'm going to cut this down with some pretty scissors too. Let's use these. I like these too. But these are getting dull. I think I'm going to have to get rid of them soon. Which kind of, you know what, this paper's kind of thick. I may not do well with those. Let's try, let me see. Let's try just a scallop. We'll do a scallop edge. So it shows up kind of on that, on that craft paper. This is why left-handed people do not like to cut right there. That mess right there. I guess that, that don't really have to be even, does it? If you guys have a child that's left-handed, please teach them to use right-handed scissors. I am still having, I'm still struggling because I always had left hand scissors. Okay. So, I don't know. I don't know yet, but that's kind of, okay. So one, two, three, how many, how many signatures do you guys think? Look how <laughs> it already stretched out my cheapo Dollar Tree clamp. Or a paper clamp. <clears throat> Three. Depends on the size. Of well, here's the thing. I haven't made the cover. So, I am... Oh, large index cards. That's a good idea. Here, let me get some stuff out of my drawer. I know I got large index cards, too. Um, yeah, I got these. Oh, you know what? I have some colored ones. Let me see. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot about these pockets. I have these book pockets. 
And look at this. Oh, I got a black and white. Okay, let me get, we'll put some tags in here and what else? Okay, I do have these little, I have never opened these before. Oh, I have some pink ones too. I could put some pink index cards in. And we could do some yellow because I know there's yellow in that in that fabric. Okay. And then let's see. Oh. I could do a bingo card. I'm not sure that she would be so thrilled with a bingo card because I don't know that she plays bingo. Oh, I could do some graph paper. Should we put some graph paper in it? And we could do some ledger. I could do some. You know what? I found these cool. Um, where are they at? Let me see. Hang on. I got to come over here and read these comments. Envelopes. Yes. Envelopes. What else? Okay, good. Then it doesn't matter. Do for signatures. What? Oh, because I haven't made the cover yet. Yeah, and I'm thinking I may steal your your um, technique for this, Lisa, because I think what I'm going to do is maybe do like some elastic bands and then um, I might make a big soft cover, like a wraparound cover, but I'm not sure. Make the signatures... You want then decide the spine size. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I found these. These are kind of cool. And oh, I got ledger paper. Let me get a piece of ledger paper out. Hold on. We'll do like this. But we should have saved, I should have saved the red tarot paper for all the old stuff, huh? Let's see what else I got. This file cabinet is a mess, but it's got a bunch of cool stuff in it. Let's see. Um, I got some of these book cards. You could put a I could put a book card in it, but let's see. I don't have anything about love. I'm psychiatric drugs, <laughs> Psycho psychotherapy. I got medicine. Most of my cards are medical. Hmm. Ooh, the plague. I got one by the about the plague. That's not very happy, is it? Or Christmassy or hmm. Yeah, okay, let's not do a card catalog card. Um, oh, you know what? I might, I might be able to. Um, Oh, I don't have anything about love. Darn it. Those are probably the used up in first, you know, like Valentine's Day ephemera. Oh, I do have something cool. I forgot. I was I thought about it when I went in the house. 
Oh, we could stick a time card in here. Does she even know what this is? Oh, no. Maybe. I think that's home because the dog just ran in and he's like, hey, that's home. Here's another inventory tag. Let me see. What about here? Who's here? Who's here? Sam. I know. I'm so excited too. I know. I'm so excited too. Yeah. That's home. I heard the door or the truck door. You can't go out yet. Okay. We're going to put one of these just because even though she doesn't remember these, do you guys have, I know people my age remember these. All businesses used one of these. You always looked in your little mailbox when you got back from lunch, you looked for these at work. When you got back from your lunch break or when you left the office for any reason, you always looked. And then the next thing you looked at, was to see if the urgent box was checked, right? So let's put some of those in there. Or one of those in there. Okay. So I think. Hmm. So I've got some tickets set aside. So I've got some little fun things. I think the pink message thing should go in the Sally section, right? So I'm going to tuck that in there and then maybe a couple like the yellow and one of the pinks mm, in there. Yeah. Okay. And then these, I don't know if these are sticky or not. I never opened them. These are the Dollar Tree pads. And I don't know. Do you guys know if they're sticky or not? I don't think they are. I think they're just regular old paper tablets. Oh, come on. Look at this turd. Come on, Dana. I swear. I'm... No, I don't swear. It's bad to swear. Okay. Got it. Finally. Oh, that's kind of thick. You can use that. Oh, it's one big pad. That's crazy. Okay, so we'll make her a tear sheet. So I'll just leave it connected at the top and put a, um, let me grab my little stapler. Where is my little stapler? I don't know where my little one is. But here's my heavy duty one. Can I come in? Can, I come in? Can he come in? All right. So I made her a tear sheet. I just tore off a, a, a stack of, hi. I just tore off a stack of um, papers. So, I'm going to probably stick that in Sally's section, too, because it's pink, and there's a lot of pink in there. So, okay, so that's fun. So, here, oh, here's the big index cards. This is what started this. Who said that? Grandma Joe? were you the one that said use a big index card? Look at those. I love those. Those are the big 5 by 8 ones. So, they're like the size of 2 or 3, maybe 2. Anyway, these are really nice when you make the big tags to slice this in and cut off and poke a hole in because then it already has lines on it. I love these for that. So that's where most of mine went. And these are made with 100% recycled waste paper, which is importante. Okay, so let's see, where were we at? Oh, let me pull these up. So let me make a weird signature. How many signatures did you guys? I know I keep at, I'm sorry. I'm being so repetitive. I apologize. How many signatures did you guys say that you put in your journal? Because I think I want to do a little more. And I think I want this to be a little extra. So I don't like that with that. So I think in... here. I know it's so exciting. Daddy's home. He's like, he keeps running back over here looking at me like, aren't, aren't you going to say anything? Daddy's home. Daddy's home. All right. So let's see. I've got, I need to decide what the outside of this one's going to be. 
And these are thinner pages. This, this is actually a little bit thicker. But in order to kind of stay with the theme here, I might... That's a little shorter. That's so delicate. I really don't. You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to maybe make just a plain gray one. Don't you think... You guys think gray... Because that gray... This, this craft is really pretty thick. It's pretty substantial. So I'm thinking maybe... Does that seem like it would be good? a good... Or do you think black for the last one? Or even put some color in it? I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know. I should stop thinking. I think too much. Oh, I think I should go home now. You know, sometimes this seems more like work if I overthink it. I'm going to do black. I'm going to get, let me get a piece of black. Oh, you know what? I forgot I had this too. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, and I bet I've cut too much of this out. I have this too. Look at this glitter paper, but it is so thick and it's like plasticky on the back. So I wonder if that would be good for that. I wonder if this will shed. Let me see if this sheds. Yeah, this sheds a little bit. I have this too. What do you guys think of that? It's like gray and beige striped paper with clear iridescent sequins overlaying the whole thing. Oh, and silver. There's silver pieces in it too. I love it too. This is really going to get messy, isn't it? All right. I think we'll have to do the stripes. Because that is super cool. I have this too, which kind of combines the gray and the the gray and the craft, which I like. Then I'd have to do a gray, a gray signature if I did one of these. But I think I do think that I might have to go with this. Although I was thinking about making this the cover. I don't think it's going to be big enough. I'm going to need more than 12 inches. So. <sighs> but then I want to stick with the retro theme too. Sorry, guys. I thought this would make it easier if I had all these opinions. You guys are such good crafters. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. Don't listen to him. He's being sarcastic. Shut your, shut your pie hole. All right, bye. Hi, I love you. Thank you. I'm glad you're home. Did you bring me any surprises? No, I brought you the one demand. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you call Chef Boyardee. Chef Boyardee. Uh, oh, I love... Only 10 for 10 surprise. Oh, I love SpaghettiOs. Oh, brother. Well, that's a bunch of bulls. I thought I'd get SpaghettiOs and I got them instead. <laughs> You're, you are silly. Okay. So, eight and a half by 11, right? So, I want to cut this at eight and a half. Yeah. So I'm going to cut it at like nine and a half since it's kind of, it's kind of shaded already and I don't want to cut all the shading off. So maybe, Parchment paper. huh? Parchment paper, two to five. Parchment oh, is it pattern? Did you find, did they have the snowflake one? No, it's just regular parchment. Okay, that's fine. But that's a good price. What store is that? And I'll tell them. So Meyer. they, Meyer, not Fred Meyer, but me, like smelled, spelled like Meijer, M E I J E R. Meyer has parchment paper two for five, you guys. So if you have a Meyer, that's a really good prize. Okay, so here's my, here's my, I am going to score this since this is thicker paper. It doesn't normally crack, but. 
I don't want to take a chance since this is going to be my cover of this signature. So I can't see where my fold is right there. He already ate. Oh, okay. Oh, it cracked just a tiny bit. Oh, well. I should have scored both sides, huh? All right. So in this one, so let me set these other three aside. So in this one, we will do, when we open it up, we will do some lined paper. Let's, should we do this like this? But then that's the white on the white. I don't know about that. You know what? Let's do this one. Does this one have... That really doesn't go, does it? This looks orangey to me. You know what? Let's go ahead and add some of this pink. Let's do the pink coffee stained with... I like the gray against the, the gray chevron. I think that's pretty. Let's turn that over so that's like that. Then I kind of like this. I like this graph paper, but not with the pink. The green and the pink to me doesn't really, since it's such a a bright green or a bright pink, I mean. So I think maybe. Is that too plain? Oh, decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll add another piece of this eyelash paper just to make it girly, girly. And then I'll put something over the corner. I'll make it a tuck spot or whatever. So let's do coffee stained and then some contrast, right? So we'll get some... We'll get some white in here with the coffee stain. And then we got black and white and pink. And then what is this? Oh, this is the gray. Why does that look wrong? Hmm. Oh. I wrong? So how many pages is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and this is messed up because apparently I printed lines on both sides of this this page, which I didn't mean to. I do do that sometimes because you can journal over black and white, but, oh, or I could do this. Um, this is graph paper. It's probably not showing up on the thing, but I do like to have some lines. So again, I don't like the center of this one because in one of these centers we've got, okay, so here we've got the card, the cute card with the bag, with the cute little bag. In Sally's signature, we've got Sally for the centerfold, right? Or Sally. There she is. And then in this one, we've got Jack's fold out, right? So I kind of feel like we need one more really cool center thing for this, for this one, for this last signature. So let me think. You know what? I think we're going to do the other. I'm going to do the other Jack card, and I'll tell you why. I wanted to include them both. I'm going to because they both have the story um, on the back. And since this one's different than the other one, I think I'm going to go ahead and just um, put this one in the center here because I think that's so stinking adorable. And it says such a romantic story. So. Then I can embellish the inside with tags, bags, you know, whatever. Um, and then I think I might do the black and white. Uh, these are plasticky too. So these are really not, they're not going to tear up easy. And so I like these um, library pockets. So that looks like we have got most of the signatures together. You know what? I could put this green paper in here probably for our Jack journal. You know what? I might. 
I might tuck this graph paper in between here. Since this since this signature is kind of devoid of color, no, there's not a lot of color in it. I'm gonna tuck that graph paper in that one. And then this little, where's this little thin? And this one, I think I'm gonna add the, um, or the ledger paper. I put the green ledger paper. I'm gonna put the graft paper in this one. Oh, I forgot to add the bullet journaling pages too. Where did I put those? Oh, I have made such a mess of my desk. Let me get these. These are pages we didn't use. And we didn't use the purple, but this was shedding everywhere. So, all right. So, where is the bullet? Okay, here's the bullet journal pages. So, we can stick a couple of these in. We could stick one of these in every journal, in every, um, every one. I don't know if she's a bullet journaler yet, but she probably is going to be now. <laughs> so, I'm sticking a bunch of these in too. So, these will be in somewhere. Because they have the little dots, the little bullets on both sides of the page. I just, you know, I just simply took the one that I had apart. So let's stick some in here. I should cut this one. Let's put this one, yeah. Put this one here. And in here. This will be a nice contrast, the white against the pink and the coffee stained. And then in the Sally journal, this is getting fat already, isn't it? This journal is getting thick. Then we'll put this on the other side of this doily page because this is going to be real girly decorated. So this will be... That'll be a good spot. So here you can write and here you can bullet journal. So that's cool. So, and it'll be the same way in the back since they're next to each other in the back. When you get to the back, she can bullet journal and write. So hopefully she likes that. Okay. So already we can see about how thick this is. I'm probably going to need a couple inches spine for this. Oh, I forgot about the big index card. I got this oversized index card, which just... Let's just tuck this in anywhere. And then I've got this time card, right? So we need to stick a time card in here somewhere. These are fun to, especially to make little work notes on. All the time cards in my junk journal have coworkers' phone numbers on them. <laughs> That's right. Is that weird? I don't know. Where's that green? I think that would look good with the green. Where do we put that ledger? The ledger paper, see? Because that's kind of like work. And then the green on green. Because this is kind of green ink. And this is red ink. So that goes with the maroon a little bit. And then we can move it down here. So it's off center. Okay. So we got that. And then we got the little pink and yellow index cards. So in here, I think the pink probably will go better. This pink will go better in here. And we'll use that later. No, I think the yellow will go better where those roses are. Okay. Yeah, I got glitter in there. Okay. Oh, I forgot. We got this. This is a inventory tag. And it's kind of blue. So, we can just pop it anywhere. Let's just stick it in here. Oh, and here's one of these. Um, these are those binders. Have you ever saw those ring binders that... Um, they have a bunch... They're like the long skinny ones that people used to use in the accounting like accounting department. That's what that's for. That fits in there. I'll just stick it in there for now. And then I'm going to use that somewhere on the front of the book. And then I got this, this, this is a alterations tag. So, but I'll put, I'll go ahead and put a library card in here. 
So let's just stick this someplace. Fun. Okay. And then since we've got this left over, we can make some half pages with these long pieces. These are 12 inches, so they're too long, but we'll cut them down to fit. We'll whack it a couple inches off here so that they're little, we'll put little spots in here. I don't like that in there. Let's see. Let's put this, this is down here, so let's put this up here. No, not on that page. Let's put it on this page. We'll put it on this page. So we'll have one down lower and one up higher. Yeah. Okay. Where, where's the rest of my scraps? I really regret not using this paper. This is a lovely paper, but I'm sure I will use it for something else. Let me get the rest of my scraps out and... Um, See if we can't add some half pages, maybe. I really like these keys. I think Haley would really like these keys. So, I'm going to use that in there, too. And I really love this paper. I didn't end up using this page. Um, that retro paper is cool. I like that brick, too. I never did use the brick. But I really like it. I think Haley would like the, the painted brick, especially that mustardy yellow. I don't know why I think that looks good with that fabric. So we can stick those in there somewhere too. Some little fun pages. And then I think I'm ready to start decorating. Oh, for heaven's sakes. These decorative scissors are so hard to get lined up at the perfect spot, but I do think they're adorable. All the different little patterns they give you. Let's see. That's a lot of stuff. That, I think that signature is good. I think we're going to call that one done. And then, but I kind of want this in one of them too. I want one of these. I already scored this. I've got to stick this in every one. Okay, so then let's look at Sally's signature. Could probably use some more color. That's cool. The bullet page. We could break that up a little bit with some color here. And then She's got that doily, maybe. Stick this down lower. Oh, it's a sorry. Stick this half a page down lower. And then let's see. Oh, she's got a half page up high already, this one. So maybe. Maybe we'll just move this one down. I hate to have more than a couple half pages because it makes it such a pain to sew it when you go to sew it in. So, so, get it? So, I haven't trimmed this one down yet. Let me get a different scissor. We can use this postage stamp edge. That's cute. It's kind of, um, when you make the homemade stamps, you know. Can you see the edge of that? It's kind of squarish, like a postage stamp. You put that there to kind of break up the gray. And then, ooh, yeah, I like this. I like this with the damask. Good. And then in here, we've got the coffee stain paper and ta da! Just going to an alterations tag back here. 
and this inventory tag and the other half of this and the graph paper craft oh great look at that it says what it is on it oh well we'll cover it up i'm going to just sew that before i sew that in this is bayou birds brown from my mind's eye all rights reserved and then this i love this paper and i ran it through the printer so it has lines on it right to give her incentive to write 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 until her heart's content and then here's the last one we just put together and we got that little index card and some lined paper and this card we didn't put much in this yet this one was the last one because i wanted to make a fourth i like an even number of journals weird I mean, of signatures. So, let me put this away. Okay. And what is this? Oh, that's that flowered paper. I never did use that. Hmm. So here's some stuff I want to use in the decorations. I'm going to put this in here so I don't lose this too. Here's some of the scraps I want to use. And I'm going to just throw these little wee bits in here too for now. Just because I can. I peeled off some corrugated cardboard um, to make me some lines if I want to do um, painted lines. <clears throat> That white looks out of place now. Oh, I missed it. I should have been paying attention. Hi, Danielle. Oh, you're leaving, Grandma Joe. Okay. I kind of feel like I really like that paper, and I'm rethinking this, this Sally page now. Because although I love that, I really want this to be a full page. I love those rose cabbage roses. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just probably make this journal way too fat. And it's going to explode. But I really feel like I want to um, add too much. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm going to add, I'm going to end up adding too much, I, I suppose. Let's see. I don't know why that's not going down in there. Fabric pockets are funny, aren't they? I shouldn't have glued it over so far. Okay. Yeah. I can make some kind of tuck spot. I have to cover up something on these eyelashes. There it is. So I'll make some kind of corner piece down here to cover that up. And I'll add some pink in here. And I might be able to use that for like a flip up or something. So I'll leave that in there and the tear off. So that's fun. That's real girly girly. And then I have these too. Let me put this. I got all my 12 by 12 stuff in the, in the way here. So I like that doily. I forgot I got that doily so we can stick that in there before we sew it. Somewhere. I should have stuck that down there first, huh? Yeah, thank Dana. I don't know. No, it doesn't quite, doesn't quite go, does it? Now I've got this cute little pokey dot baggy from somewhere. I wonder if this will fit in that. It sure does. Look at there. So I can back this on some cute cardstock and make a tuck spot in here somewhere with it. And then I've got this extra 
paper. So, okay. So I got a good jump start on, on Sally for sure. Sally's, you know, Sally's signature is easier to do because it's all girly, girly, cutesy. And I need to put a rubber band around all this stuff. I'm going to just hold it together with this so nothing gets too wrinkly, icky. It's just cardboard. Because if I keep messing with it, it'll just get thicker and thicker and thicker. You're listening? Grandma just listening. Do you hear what I hear? Okay, so what do you guys think? Four signatures. I don't know. You know what? I didn't even count the. I started to count the pages because I was thinking I would put a specific number of pages in it. But really, it's just kind of, I guess it's what feels right and what goes with what and what you like and what you don't like. And so isn't it strange how it just kind of takes on a life of its own? And then I have all these scraps I pulled out for decorating. I think I showed you guys these before, but... There's the other half of that bag. I got to punch out a, a a half circle, and then these are kind of these are like scrapbook papery. I like the reverse map, the white on black, um, and I like the reverse, the negative out flower outline. It looks like a like a photo negative. And then I've got these textured funky papers, like cloth papers. What do they call them? Mulberry or whatever. So that'll be fun to use. And that's from one of them things. I got that pad at Tuesday morning with all the punch outs and that was in it. And that was cool. And this is from Maria loves this pad and I cannot think of the name of it for the life of me, but I know you guys know what this is from. Um, this is from, oh, that's terrible. I don't know. Oh, I love that. Look at that. I want that wallpaper in my bathroom. Like in the 1970s. I can remember going into, fan like if we were in someplace fancy, going in as a kid and walking up and touching the wallpaper. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, that's so cool. Oh, and then I got this. I forgot I never did punch this doily out. This is another one. Oh, and look at this. I love this. This was in one of those kits, too, I think. And then for decorations, I have a few more scraps. I found this, which I thought this painted wall, I don't know why this brick to me is just, it's so cool. And then on the back, it's got like this little key and a heart uh, locket. And that was in a kit of some sort. And these are just papers. And then that's cool. I want to put that in the retro page where the old TVs and the... Um, TVs and stereos were, and then look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I think that's adorable. And then I love this. Uh, as Lisa would say, I want to tattoo that on my forehead. <laughs> Art washes the soul. Washes from the soul. I'm sorry. The dust of everyday life. And look at this. I think this is just cool because it's, you know, peely cracky, but it's two different. It's like close up and then far away. So it's like, I don't know. It's like one image superimposed on another image and then there's type print in it. So there's a third image. And look at this little tiny corrugated cardboard. If you guys ever see that, that was like in one of those seven gypsies ephemera kits or either that or um, what's the other one they sell? Art C. And I thought that was so cool. That little baby corrugated cardboard I thought was cool. And then here's a burlap tag. And then here's some more phone ephemera. So, journal card. So, that'll all be fun to add to it. And then I have these stickers. Danielle, you recognize these? So, I think I'm going to probably include Haley danced a lot when she was little. 
And now she has a daughter, Anya. So um, Anya is not old enough. Well, she's probably old enough to be in dance class, but she's not really super focused yet. <laughs> um, she's like, do so. But uh, so I think I'm going to include those in her journal. And then, oh, I forgot I had this library pocket already with a library card in it. But look at this. This is fun. This came with a set of pencils. So I thought I would put this. Oh, I'm glad I found this. I thought I would include this in some of the signature stuff um, and just sew it in because it's like instructions on how to cross hatch for shading. You know, cross hatching is what it's called when you make this design. And, um, you know, how to do smooth shading, how to do scrumbling. And then it talks about all the different techniques and it's in three different languages, but I thought this would be cool. So I'm seriously thinking that I should make some sort of pocket with this, um, like a fold out or a flip out or something. Yeah. So maybe, Oh, unfortunately where it's, where it's actually, where it was originally folded, it's not folded exactly where it would be good to do that. So I kind of feel like if, okay, so if this was like this, I could actually sew it in to a journal here and then have all this, these tips and techniques for water pencils, watercolor pencils on the fold out. So I think that'll be fun because, you know, I told you she's artsy and she, um, she likes to draw. So I have a, you know, I'm hoping, I assume that she will be using this journal to draw uh, and doodle and record things. And just probably kind of a smash book, like a, like an everything book, you know, pictures. And and then this was in one of those Tuesday morning tear outs too. And I think this doily is really pretty. And I don't know, I haven't punched all the pieces out yet, but I don't know where I'm going to use it without smashing it or without it getting, you know, looking yucky. Oh, I have these Jillian's tickets too. When my kids were little, when we would come to town to visit, because, you know, I lived out of state for 10 years when the kids were little. Both of my kids were born out of state, but they loved Julian's, Jillian's or whatever you call it. And their dad used to take them. And they would get these tickets and Haley's dad would take her and she would get tickets. And they always wanted to go back and they would get have tons and tons and tons of these tickets saved up for whatever, whatever they were buying. So I thought that would be fun. And then, oh, I've got this. I love this. I'm not beautiful like you. I'm beautiful like me. I love that, love that, love that. And Denise, thank you again. I'm going to put this little bag into you, this little pumpkin bag, because it is, you know, Jack is like nightmare before Halloween. Thank you again, Denise, for these cards. These are super sweet. I absolutely love them all. Isn't he sweet? Doesn't he have a sweet face? It says, Jack Skellington steals a glimpse through a candy-framed doorway into a brightly lit world he never dared imagine. So that's his face when he was peeking through the window. And then there's like a little story on the back of each card, what scene that expression comes from. So it's pretty cool. He's dazzled by Christmas town there. Look at this. He looks almost evil there. He's like, <laughs> what's he doing? Flanked on either side by stone-carved sentinels, Jack reveals his ability to strike terror into hearts far and wide. Yes, he's very scary there. So, and then, oh, I have these. Uh, these are going to be used for decorations, and I think um, Lisa actually gave these to me. 
a while back. Or Danielle, did you give these to me? I don't know. I know you gave me these stickers in in the last Happy Mail you sent me. I don't remember who, what these were in. These were in a Happy Mail. And um, they are these little washi flake stickers. And they're really cute. They're um, rose gold. And they have bows. And they say, you go, go, girl. Hello, gorgeous. Just a girl with goals. Fierce and fabulous. Be beautiful. And then they repeat. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the whole pack in there for her to play with and maybe take a page because there's like five pages in here. Let me see what it says. There is five sheets of these. These are the Mrs. Um, Sparkle washi stickers and they're really, really cute. And I apologize to someone if I'm sorry if you gave it to me and I said the wrong person. Sometimes I get mixed up. I'm going to put this at the bottom so that you can open it and pull it part way out. Back. So I've got a lot. I've got a lot that I can work with. You know, I collected this stuff for a while before I actually got started. So I'm just, I'm really happy to at least have the actual, you know, the signatures put together so I can start sewing and gluing and doing um, the things I want to do. I'm going to stop sticking stuff in because I just keep sticking stuff in this elastic band. But you guys know I overdo it every time. And I wanted to do something fun tonight because to tell you the truth, I've been adulting a little too much this last week or two. And I've been having a hard time like sleeping. My dog keeps waking. Gosh, you know, with all the Christmas time, there's a lot of deliveries. And um, I am on the county road that leads to the mall. And so it's really been getting busy around here. And anytime the like the UPS truck or something's on the street. My dog just has to go ballistic. He's like, oh, there's people out there. And it's normally a pretty, it's a fairly quiet neighborhood, but it's, it's busy at this time of year. And he's all, you know, like, Oh, we're being burgled. There's a burglar. <laughs> he's like, you must let me outside. I have to go check to see if they're a friend or foe. You know, he's like, and I made these, look, when I first um, started using my typewriter, the O was actually poking holes through the paper. Can you see that? And the word love, I put it, love always saves the day. And can you see the O? It actually like poked a hole. So I took some of my tea stained paper and typed all these little messages. Um, this says thankful. This says love always wins. Look at that. And look, the O is <laughs> You got you guys, look how hard I'm pressing on them keys. And you see that O? Let me see. Love always wins. Here, let me put on colored paper. That's how, that's how hard I'm typing right there. See the pink O? <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> that's bad. You got to press hard with these old fashioned typewriters, but you don't have to press that hard. So, and this one says, what is this one? Says? This one says the same thing. Love always saves the day. Love, love, love. Dun, 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 dun. Copyright, copyright infringement. Oh, there's little dots down in here. Oh, good. Yeah. This is my little bits little bits box of things that I want to use up. Those are usually things that end up on the floor. Oh, look, Annette. Okay. Well, well, thanks for coming everybody and sharing in with me the, this Jack journal adventure. This was fun. I needed a break from serious matters you know sometimes when you're working too much it just makes you what's the expression all work and no play makes jack a dull boy all work and no play makes dana a grumpy tur is what it should say because and i'm just like not 
the dog's waking me up two days in a row. The dog wouldn't let me sleep. So I was just really, I was feeling it last night. I was just like, let me out of here. Let me get this day done. And thank God I'm so blessed. The last two nights were such seriously, they went so smoothly. I didn't have any issues. Oh my gosh. I was so glad when it came time to punch out in the morning, I was like, peace out. I was out of there. It was lovely. And I was grateful. So grateful. So I'm just coming off. I've been working since last, the beginning of last weekend. So even though technically I know this is Thursday, this is my Friday. So I'm happy. Did you guys go Black Friday shopping? Anybody getting any good Black Friday deals? I saw Joanne's keeps texting me. You know that it makes me crazy, but Joanne's keeps sending stuff. Let me see if they. Oh, good. My screen. My phone won't load. Um, it just goes completely black sometimes for no apparent reason. I don't care. I hate that phone. It'll come up in a minute. It usually it reboots itself for for just whatever little whim it goes on. No, you didn't go. I didn't go either. But you know what I found in years past? I reset it. Yeah, I do need to reset it. I have found that um, when I go into those Black Friday deals, I impulse buy all this stuff. And it's not really things I wanted to buy or had intentions of buying. And then I end up like, I might have like, five gifts for one person and then no gifts for someone else. And I feel like I'm getting these great deals, but they were things that I had no intention of buying to begin with. They're impulse buys, things I didn't need. So I don't really do it anymore. I don't really go. Um, I put stuff in my cart before Black Friday. So I'll go to my regular sites that I shop at. I'll put stuff in my Michael's cart or Joanne cart or Hobby Lobby cart and then like Amazon and Alley. And what I do on Black Friday is I log in and go to my cart to see how much the discount is. If the discount is really significant, I'll click and pay for it. But other than that, I'm only getting everybody one present and they all, I mean, they basically know I'm getting... Uh, Andrew, I got him a, a Dyson vacuum cleaner and um, Austin, I'm getting him a very, ex his tires are ridiculously expensive, but he's got a racing bike and he rides it because he doesn't have a car anymore and he rides it everywhere. You know, he's ridden it to the next day, um, which is, he rode like what would take you a four hour drive in the car. They rode one weekend just for fun. But I'm getting him one of those winter tires for that racing bike, and they're not cheap. So that's all he's getting. And um, and then that, I can't say what I'm getting him because he might be able to hear me from here. And then, of course, I get I always get my parents like a gift card to their favorite restaurant at Christmas. Um, and then whenever they go to town, because um, they live out of town, when they go to Terre Haute, they'll call me and they'll go, guess where we ate and they'll tell me and then they'll tell me how, guess how much the bill was. And I'll say, I don't know, $50. And I'll say, Oh, it was, you know, they'll tell me whatever the bill was. Tell me what it was after the, they used their gift card or what, you know, if there's a balance left or if they had to pay one time my dad called me he was like, you know how much I had to pay? Guess he, they make me guess all the time. I don't know why that's funny, but guess, guess. And I'm like, I don't know, dad, a dime. And he was like, I can't believe you guessed it. He was mad because <laughs> I had, he was mad because I guessed right. He had to pay 10 cents was the balance after. And he told me they got appetizer and dessert and they had drinks and it was real, you know, they had the whole, you know, kit and caboodle. And when they gave him the gift card, there was a 10 cent balance he owed. And he thought that was so cool. But then I guessed it. So I like ruined the, the surprise, which was funny at the time.
Yeah. And isn't that nice to have stuff delivered? That's what I said with the tire. I don't think, I think with the tire, um, I haven't confirmed it. My son has to, he actually has to tell me what tire. I don't know the brand name or the specs and all that stuff. So I told him to put it in my cart, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into his Amazon and just put it on my card and have him put it in his cart. But, um, cause for some reason I can't see his wish list. And he said it was public that he was going to put it on his wish list in public, but I can't get to it. But um, yeah, I don't think he's going to have it mailed to him because he works so much. He thinks it might be safer because it's so expensive to mail it here. But I think I'm going to make sure to add extra insurance too. Here's my tea. But yeah, I don't really do Black Friday shopping. I'm getting everybody one thing, except for my brother. I buy a lot. My brother doesn't have, you know, a wife or kids. And he, you know, he's disabled and he's kind of got limited funds. So I like to buy him a little bit more stuff to open and so I'll buy more for my brother and then everybody gets a stocking. So they, they get little fun things in their stocking. I try to find cool things all year long and I save them in a closet for stockings. So I always find really fun things or customized things. If I have things printed or engraved or whatever, I always save all that stuff for their stockings. So the stocking is the fun part in my house. I got these. I forgot. Did I show you guys these? I ordered these dies off Alley. These little tabs. Can you see them? Oops, I'm sorry. I'm point Look, I'm holding it up to the light. <laughs> I changed my desk setup, and now I don't know where my camera is. Okay, so these little tabs. I'm going to cut some of them out when I get time and show everybody. But those came. I forgot about those. I gotta do a. I gotta run them through and see how these work. They're cute shapes, though. It's and then I have that. I have the tab punch, but it punches two separate pieces, which still baffles me why they would make it like that. Because you gotta line them up just perfect when you glue them together. So I kind of feel like it's a weird design. I think maybe who, whoever designed it doesn't use it. They're not a tab person. Okay. Well, I'm going to go talk to my hubby. He's probably already asleep. He just walked in. He's relaxing, resting and relaxing. I'm going to call my son and check on him. He's got a cold. So I'm going to see how he's feeling. So I'm going to let you all go. I may be on, back on later. No shopping for this. Yeah. You know, I, I don't even, I think the store should be closed so that people can be with their family on Thanksgiving. So I refuse to, the stores that stay open on Thanksgiving, I really, I don't like those stores. I try to avoid them more. I think if I own a business, I want to close and I want if you're my employee, I want you to go home and be with your family. I want you to eat and have a meal, break bread, be thankful. I want you to spend time with your loved ones while you can. And I want you to do that on Christmas too. And I don't want people to be coming to work. No amount of <clears throat> sale discounts, I don't think is worth it. But easy for me to say I don't own a business. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Maybe my head will feel better. Sue, did you get a do Make sure you're putting moisture in the air. If you don't have a humidifier, be running in one vaporizer or something. All right. Okay, ladies. Well, have a good night. TGIF for me. It's almost Friday for everybody. And I'll see you all maybe later. Bye. Bye.